Well, hi, and thanks for joining me here in my shop. I'm going to start changing capacitors in this uh, Westinghouse radio. But before I start doing that, I want to get some objective measure of uh, how well the radio is working. And I think I'm going to try to use the uh, AVC voltage on my uh, meter over here and uh, use that as a way of measuring uh, how well the radio is uh, the radio is working as I change out capacitors uh, one or a couple at a time and uh, if you watch the last video you know the radio is working pretty good already surprisingly enough even with all these old old capacitors all through it so I'm quite curious about just how much improvement uh, we can get out of it so just been looking at the schematic and this is really hard to look at uh, certainly hard to look at on camera but to find the AVC voltage is a couple of uh, basic uh, approaches to finding a good spot to hook up for AVC voltage. And one is you start looking at the detector. That's where the AVC DC voltage is generated in the first place. This is just a rectifier basically. And the rectifier is, you know, on the output side of the rectifier there's a DC voltage. And that appears through this coil right in here. And that DC voltage is picked off by this resistor, and it's going to be impossible for you to follow. So that's one approach. Look at where the DC is coming from. Another approach is where's the DC going? Well, it's going to grids of some tubes. That's how it, uh, the AVC operates by pushing the grid voltage up and down. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's usually, of course, the front end tubes here that are receiving uh, ACV, AVC voltage. So that's another spot where you could potentially pick it off. But in this radio there's another uh, spot too and that's down here on the magic eye. Now the magic eye uh, opens and closes based on the AVC voltage. It's actually an AVC monitor. It's really what it is. Now, unfortunately the uh, tube in this radio doesn't seem to be working at this point. So. I can't just look at the tube. Otherwise, that's an that's a uh, that's an alternative. If you've got a radio with a magic eye, and the magic eye is following the AVC voltage, you can just watch the magic eye as you tune up your radio or make adjustments. It's not exactly a quantitative way of doing it, but still quite satisfactory. So, uh, so I'm either going to pick it off down here where the grid goes into the magic eye, where the uh, uh, the magic eye grid uh, connection is down here. Um, or somewhere else in the radio and I'll poke around a little bit with my meter and find some place useful. Now the next thing I need, I need a steady input signal. I don't want to try this with a, just a radio station. I'm, I suppose you could, particularly if you've got a strong station fairly close to you. Um, you could just tune it in. Uh, the challenge there would be you have to leave the radio tuned exactly as it is. Nothing else can change if you're going to try to make some kind of objective measurement about your success. Now I'm going to be putting in a signal from a signal generator here. And we won't want the antenna connected. We don't want outdoor signals coming in. So we'll connect up the signal generator signal here. the antenna terminal right here. Okay. Now, I'd like to do this on the AM band. do something mid-band. Right now it's tuned to 900. So we're way off here. Okay, so that Output of the signal generator is uh, 
kind of moderate. Um, Thirty percent modulation of four hundred hertz <coughs> tone, which should come out of the speaker. Well, I think we're all set to go here. Oh, how about getting my meter, old meter, ready? I'll be looking for a low negative voltage. getting some idea of where to where to poke around. Okay. The wires from the magic eye they usually come back as a group through a hole into the bottom of the radio and then splay out and connect to things. And here it is right here. And this is the magic eye wires, these guys here. One of them it'd be a little hard to trace those back easily. But I could just test every one of those wires. And one of them's going to show up with a uh, negative voltage on it, small negative voltage. So can I find all those wires? I think this is probably the one right here. Which is heading up into here. That's the first one I'm going to check. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Starting up the radio. All set. Everything's plugged in. Good. No, not everything. The actual plug is not plugged in. There we go. Good to go. Tune the signal generator now. See where we really are tuned here. We're tuned nowhere. Hey, we're off to a good start. Okay, I think I see one of the problems. How about I connect the soon before it gets me into some trouble. Now, let's see, I've got my meter set. It'll read upscale positive. Okay, I've got it on the 150 volt scale. So I really want to read a small negative, but I'm worried about bumping into a, a large positive while I'm doing this. So, let's see, I think it's this terminal right here. negative voltage showing up. So I found it already. And I'm listening to the operation of the radio. It's not affected at all. So that's our test point right there. Now, if I can get a clip lead in there safely. touch anything else or cause a short circuit. Okay, and bring that down to the meter. 
flip this to negative, make it less sensitive. Okay, 15 volts full scale now on the meter. Now tune the radio and we'll see if it goes up and down. There we are. The actual voltage range is 15 volt scale. It's about a little over minus one volt. Let's give it a good shot here. You can see the meter moves up and then falls back, falls back a little bit. Let me show that again. I'm going to turn up the signal strength. Watch what the meter does. You'll see it go up and then slowly fall back. Here we go. Oh, I bumped the, bump the frequency a little bit. There we go. Up with the signal. See it fall back? does the same thing when I turn it down just the other way. And that's that ABC voltage capacitor that controls the rate at which the ABC moves up and down. You don't want a crack of lightning to uh, knock the ABC way down and silence your radio. You kind, you kind of do in a way. I mean, you don't want the crack of lightning to come uh, to come uh, to come out and disturb you too much, but on the other hand, you don't want the ABC necessarily to be going up and down rapidly. So you damp it with a capacitor. So there we go. That's what also makes watching the ABC when you're tuning up the radio. Uh, it can be challenging because the ABC voltage is kind of lagging the adjustments that you're making. So it's a little tricky. It can still be done. And that's also why it's always recommended that you do these kinds of things with a very low input to the radio to try to, to uh, have the radio running with a minimum AVC voltage. Uh, that's pretty challenging to do. So there we go. Now, let's put this right on 900. So I can replicate this test. Now we'll tune to maximum on the meter. See, see how tricky it is? But the maximum is going to be higher up here, but it's not. There's the maximum point. Now I'll be smart enough to write this down. Fifteen volts, so it's almost exactly minus five volts. Now, I think we're all set to go. As long as I make no changes in my signal generator. And which capacitors are we going to do first? Well, I think it might be wise to do the capacitors right around the detector first. And that part of the radio is right here, of course. This is the detector tube here, which you can't see. There's the bottom, and I see one, two, three, um, basically paper capacitors. And one of them looks like an electrolytic, actually, oddly enough. So my only choice, and then uh, my only choice here, I'm going to leave this one in for now. This is going to a tone control or something like, or volume control. Um, Should I do all three of them at once and see what happens? Or do them one at a time. Depends how much I want to try to learn from this. Let's see, one is a... Uh, oh, this, this can't be one. This is the resonator going across the uh, IF coil. It's probably right up in the can here, although I don't know. That'll be a little tiny one. Oop. Uh, there's one 
here. C22, that's also a tiny one. Here's one, C3.01, 400 volts. There's one over here. That's also a tiny one. <laughs> There's a blocker here. There's probably this one I'm seeing, this one I'm seeing. And another one could be this one way down here on the schematic. I don't know if I want to take the time to sort all that out. Let's just do all three of them. Okay, what's that my signal generator's gone berserk here. There we go. Or my uh, frequency counter. Okay, we are on restricted voltage. Supply. Any reason why I would leave it that way or change it? Restricted uh, power to the radio. I think maybe I'll just I'll do this whole thing on restricted power. Um, the supply voltage to the radio is about 90, 95, somewhere in that range. Surely if I flip the switch up, this is going to change. If I put full uh, voltage to the set, that, that's going to change, no doubt about it. I think I'm just a little more comfortable operating it on reduced power right now. Also, if I keep a light bulb in the socket, it's these light bulbs up here. If I keep a light bulb in the circuit, yeah, so a light bulb in the socket in the circuit, then... Uh, if anything should happen to the radio, uh, some kind of short circuit or something, the light bulb is there to protect uh, the radio. So we've let this run for a little while. I see this has moved up off of 5 by a touch. So I think what I'm going to do... Um, so why, it's probably just moved off just from warming up a little bit further here. Uh, is there anything that's sensitive here? I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay, nothing seems to be particularly sensitive. So I'm going to turn down the signal generator, set this rate on 5 again here. This will be the last ad adjustment. Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe the tuning has gone off. Let's try that first. No. Tuning's right on. Be smart and write down the tuning dial number 50, 40, 49. There's an index. There's an index tuning uh, system on here. And that's the number. The number is 49. Okay, I think I got it all locked down now. Good show. So we'll cut off the power. And uh, get ready to change some capacitors.